welcome to another episode of Kanas Stomped. In this series, we look at the hottest trending stories on citizen journalism website Stomp. This week's top picks, a road bully, the launch of a new Stomp competition, and an animation clip of Marina Bay Sands going up in flames which has gone viral. First up, at 9am on the morning of January 29th, a Honda Civic driver, later known as Mr. Kwek Tsen Hao, was caught on video chasing after another driver and behaving recklessly on the roads after a minor misunderstanding at a car park. Stomper James alerted Stomp about this video, which he came across on YouTube. Another video that surfaced soon after, that same Mr. Kwek was seen taunting another driver just a few hours after the first incident. Both videos went viral, and netizens were quick to slam him for his recklessness. In a bid to defend himself, Mr. Quack uploaded a video response to explain his side of the story. Am I sorry? Yes, I am for what had happened. Yes, I should not have behaved the way I did, and yes, I am very sorry about it. And yes, I will definitely be punished, and I know my actions have consequences. I'm truly sorry for my behaviour. What sucks is that I have discovered I am living in a society not gracious enough to confine the punishment to me and instead target my parents, my family, my girlfriend to a world of cruelty and not empathy. My parents taught me well. It was my mistake and nothing to do with my parents. Mr. Quack has been pulled up by the police for questioning. Meanwhile, Mr. Quack's mother pleaded for the online storm to die down and for netizens to leave her son alone. It seems most stompers do not tolerate such rude road behaviour. Stomper Cool Eyes commented, How can he pass the driving test with this attitude? To quote Stomper M. Wu, Even if he's given the middle finger, that can hardly be accepted as the reason for his rash driving, compromising his and others' safety. This shall teach him a good lesson. But Stomper Karma Will Hunt You Down feels Mr. Quack's mom is also to be blamed. I don't care who is right or wrong. To me, it's just a simple honking that causes your son to be unhappy about it. You should look into the matter seriously by explaining to your son that his action and behaviour is extremely unacceptable, especially on the road, instead of telling the reporter that your son is harassed by someone in the first place. Well, one thing for sure is, if there is something that Singaporeans can't stand, it's reckless road behaviour. Moving on, some things when posted on social media for all to see can never be taken back. In this vein, Stomp has launched a new campaign called Don't Be a Facebook Idiot. This campaign is aimed to highlight errant behaviour and encourage netizens to behave more responsibly on social media. One example highlighted is a video showing a boy clad in Springfield Secondary School uniform cursing his entire family for leaving him accidentally locked outside his home. This includes him calling his mother a motherless dog and saying that his family is selfish. Stomper What Am I Doing Here wrote, Tialat, how to be a mature man like that? Profanities may seem like a manly thing, but honestly, it is only a cover to hide their low self-esteem. Stomper Brains also added, It shouldn't be called Don't Be a Facebook Idiot, should just name it Don't Be an Idiot, period. With the launch of Don't Be a Facebook Idiot, perhaps people will be more mindful of their behaviour online. Well, one can always dream, right? And for our last story this week, Don't go into panic mode just yet. This is not real. It's an animated clip of Marina Bay Sands going up in flames. 23-year-old Mr. Caleb Rosario, a diploma student at Private Media School, SAE Institute, uploaded this clip on Facebook with the caption, So I blew up MBS or something, haha. A stomper had sent a link of this video to Stomp and many other netizens had found the video offensive. However, Mr. Caleb clarified that the video was not meant as a threat and did not have any malicious intent behind it. He is now assisting the police in investigations. Stomper MLY Leo underscore 69 stated, Whatever the reasons given, this matter concerns national security and investigation convenes a report lodged soon. A serious matter like this cannot be taken for granted and there shall be no compromising. Think again before you do something. However, Stomper Invader disagrees by stating, Oi, the poor dude created the video for his assignment only lah. Think so much, go blame the professor for asking him to do it lah. 
Stompers seem divided on whether or not the police should probe into this case. However, Dr. Liu of the Wee Kim Wee School of Communication and Information summed it up best by stating, Even though cyberspace is a vast ocean, Singapore is a very small country. What people do and say gets noticed very quickly compared to, say, in a big country like the US. And it definitely has repercussions offline. Indeed, a good reminder to think before we act, on or offline. Well, that's all for this episode. Tune in to next week to find out who else... Can I stomp?